He's the son of a pastor that never set out to make music, but ended up becoming a Dove Award-winning singer and songwriter with music that touches everyone around him. Leonardo Villanueva, welcome to the show. I practice this all morning. Oh, well, thank you. I thought you said it very nicely. You have beautiful music for you. And, and you came from a background that music, you're like, no, I'm not doing this. Didn't I read someplace that you were even like skipping your music I, classes? I, yeah, I didn't like uh, music very much because I felt like my parents were making me. So I would skip piano lessons all the time. But around nice. age 13, 14, I became to love it and I decided to make it my career. All right. So what what is your main focus? When you're when you're writing an album, do you want to go gospel? Do you want to touch people outside of gospel? What is your main focus? I believe uh, music should have a purpose, at least my music does. So everything that I write, I, I I get inspiration from people, from real people. Like in this case, for example, this song we uh, dedicated to the volunteers at Trinity Cafe who serve the homeless, uh, to their dedication. And uh, I, I get my vibes from them and I kind of put it in paper and make a music. All right. All right, well, we are looking forward to your music. Here is the information. It's right there on your screen. There's the Benefit Concert. You can see Leonardo at a Benefit Concert next Saturday at Trinity Cafe, and now he's going to perform The One Who Cares. Imagine hunger in his eyes. You feel his pain, you hear his lonely cries. He'd settle for a piece of bread. Yet he goes hungry to his little bed. performance from Leonardo Villanueva. I just want to say his name. Yes. Beautiful music. Yeah. I love gospel music. It touches the spirit, the mind, the body, the soul, everything about you. And it just, it's uh, refreshing. Good Very way to refreshing. end the week, right? Very good way. We, we had a great it. week. We did. Thank you guys for watching this week. We